Halloween is approaching and I'm in the real mood for some horror games, so I've compiled a list of some of the best and spookiest games on PS5 that you should be checking out this Halloween season. Now I've not strictly stuck to horror games, I have some horror adjacent titles, I tried to include a wide berth of different styles of horror, but regardless, this is the season that you should be playing these games. We're sticking to PS5 with this video, so no alien isolation, I know I'm going to get a comment about it anyway, but let's get right into things. We're starting out with one of my all time favourite PS5 games. Dead Space is an absolute corker of a remake, vastly improving the visuals and sound design of this PS3 horror classic. Now I'm a huge fan of the Alien franchise and that series influence is felt all over the USG Ishimura, which still to this day has to be one of the best video game settings ever. In this remake, Isaac actually speaks, but the core of the original experience is very much kept alive. You're going to be creeping through dark metal hallways, hearing the distant screams of abhorrent creatures, along with the thudding footsteps of your hulking suit. Oh man, I'm actually dying to get a replay in for this game. A pretty chill game with some horror undertones to it is Dredge, the fishing experience that lures you into the dark, creepy waters of Greater Mallow. At its heart, this is a simple game with a satisfying progression system, a cool art style, plenty of different fish to catch and a love crafty and eeriness to it all. You'll be upgrading your boat, learning new abilities and venturing that bit further into the night for those rarer but more dangerous fish. Now if you're not in the mood for full on horror and just something that gives you a bit of a spook, Dredge is the perfect chill game for you this Halloween. While you could argue that Resident Evil 4 should be on this list, Village edges it out on the pure scare factor and spoiler alert, I didn't want this whole list to be Resident Evil games so this is it for the series. This spooky werewolf tinged adventure is dark, grisly and thick with atmosphere which is felt all the more when you play the game in VR on the PSVR 2. While I generally prefer the third person perspective for games like this, there's something just so horrifying about this calibre of the genre in first person. Village is also home to some fantastic characters, least of all Lady Dimitrescu, along with a killer setting in its gothic Romanian village. It's proper hammer horror stuff in some regards, which I just love. If you're looking for some retro scares, a really recent game here is Fear the Spotlight. A couple of young women sneak into a school to perform a seance, which inevitably goes wrong of course. It's then up to you to escape, solving puzzles and most important of all, avoiding the spotlight. Of course this is hosting this PS1 lo-fi graphical style which is kinda making a comeback these days but it just tickles all of those nostalgic senses making it a terrifying yet cosy addition to this list. This is also the first title to come from horror production house Blumhouse Games who are of course primarily known for producing movies like the recent Speak No Evil, the Five Nights at Freddy's movie and even the Halloween reboot trilogy. They're making the move to games and this is a pretty good first step. Here's a cooperative experience for you with the Outlast Trials. Red Battles has taken the hallmarks of the Outlast series, those being indefensible run and hide gameplay, battery depleting night vision cameras and horrifically disturbed villains and morphing it all into this 4 player cooperative survival experience. As quite a big fan of the original game, I think the translation to this co-op experience actually works really well. Of course you're playing with friends, it, it's different, it's a different kind of affair. While it is still scary, it is just fun as well to hear your friends freaking out or if you're playing with me, hearing me freak out. I've had lots of fun playing this with my mates though, so if you're looking for a bit more of a social horror experience, keep an eye out for the Outlast Trials. Another 2024 entry here, Still Wakes the Deep is from the Chinese Room, the team behind PS4 gem Everybody's Gone to the Rapture. This entry is much more firmly placed in the horror genre, with grotesque enemies, proper scare inducing sound design and a killer setting. It's basically The Thing set in a Scottish oil rig in the 70s. Still Wakes the Deep is very authentic to its setting with painstaking details around the rig with phenomenal visuals in the sort of understated way that the Chinese room does really well. It's also fantastic to hear such natural western Scottish accents and someone from that neck of the woods myself. It's not the longest experience but for a spooky jaunt on Halloween night this is a great time. 
If you're in the market for something a bit bigger, but also with its fair amount of spooks, then I introduce you to Dying Light 2 Stay Human. This is a big open world or open city zombie experience where you'll parkour your way around a semi-medieval post-apocalypse, slashing and slaying zombies left, right and centre until night comes around when the real tough ones come out of their nests and they will hunt you down. Some of the chases that you can get into in Dying Light 2, thanks partly to its improved parkour system from the first game, are really, really intense. Now there were some aspects to this game that I found a bit of a letdown, but Techland has been steadily supporting and improving the game in the years since its launch, and who doesn't love a good zombie slayer? Until Dawn is one of the great interactive horror experiences on PlayStation, which you should totally check out if you haven't already. Now I'm going to cheat a little bit here. There is a PS5 remake out there which looks fantastic and of course still retains the same brilliant writing and pacing and edge of your seat style decision making. But I wouldn't blame you too much if you turned your eye to the PS4 original, which is currently about a quarter of the price of the remake and actually runs better than the remake at 60 FPS through PS5 backwards compatibility. Regardless of which version you choose, Until Dawn is such an entertaining teen slasher with grisly deaths and a great storyline that has you wondering how far into the supernatural or mythological it will actually go. And it is highly replayable too as you try to make it through the story with all characters surviving or everyone dying. There's that level of flexibility to its branching narrative. Another remake thrown in here, but unlike Dead Space, which everyone kind of assumed would be good, Silent Hill 2 managed to defy expectations as one of the best games of 2024. Bloober team were cooking with this one. Honestly, it is one of the best uses of DualSense haptics that I've seen outside of Astrobot, with some of the biggest scares being amplified purely through those vibrations. This is the perfect kind of game to play with the curtains drawn, lights off, headphones in, the sound design, the use of light, it's all super spooky stuff. Now I wouldn't say this is the scariest game out there, it's more tense than anything else for me, but at the time of recording, I'm heading into the final area and I've just been having the best time with this game. If you're looking for a nice central mystery to wrap yourself up in this Halloween, then you need not look further than Alan Wake 2. This has to be one of the most unique video game experiences I have ever enjoyed. It looks insanely good on PS5 and the writing and locations and the way that it all blends together and this weird and wonderful mystery is just a delight to behold. It's like a Twin Peaks video game with just a bit more horror. There's two identities to the game as well, with the more traditional detective storyline with Saga Anderson and the morphing nightmare scape of Alan Wake's story, but the two perfectly intersect with each other in a way that it just feels like one big disturbing story that I cannot wait to replay. And just a wee addition, there's now two lots of brilliant DLC which celebrate Remedy's pedigree if you're just not quite ready for it all to end. So anyway, there are 10 horror games on the PS5 that I think you should check out this Halloween season. Let me know the horror game that you plan to play this spooky season down in the comments below. And while you're there, remember to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more PlayStation video content. Anyway, thank you as always for watching the video and until next time, I've been Aiden and this has been Push Square.